Okay, allow the Holy Spirit to enlighten you, open your eyes, and, and, and let this word resonate with you. Okay? The Antichrist. We know that the enemy masquerades as an angel of light. If you understand what the scriptures have tried to get across to us for a very long time is that this this world system will be brought together as one under the image of the beast via what is better for you and I. Again, the enemy, Satan doesn't come, you know, he is the dragon, but he's not coming breathing fire. The enemy masquerades as an angel of light. Where am I going with this? Now, again, this this will only resonate with you if you allow spiritual discernment to have its way in your heart and life. Hear me on this. The enemy wants you and I and everyone else to believe that this system is indeed satanic. The enemy is not trying to hide the fact that this world system, what we're undergoing, is indeed evil. Now you would think, that's not what the enemy would want. He's trying to hide in the shadows. He wants you to think that everything's all good in the world. You know, things are perpetually getting better. Not so. Again, wrap your mind around this. The enemy wants that, you and I, to, to believe that this world is indeed evil. So when the Antichrist is ushered in, he's going to come with peace and love and safety. Remember, when the son of perdition comes on the scene, that's how he's going to present himself. As someone that brings safety. But you have to understand something. The enemy himself is causing the chaos. This is how you get the order out of chaos principle that the Freemasonic, Luciferian, Satanist, global elite who run our society work. They work off the Hegelian dialectic to divide. And they use fear. They divide because they know that no unit, not just a kingdom, will stand when it's divided. The enemy also knows that if he can induce fear, while you're under, while you're succumb to, when you succumb to fear, you do not think rationally. Okay, fear will will, will strip you of its power, will strip you of love, and it will strip you of a sound mind. Yeah, it's it's incredibly evil. I mean, diabolical down to. These people want you and I to be, to have this chaos, um, you know, just mounted. You know, they they want they want chaos and, and, and unrest, civil unrest, and every kind of other unrest, whether it's in the weather or whatever it may be in in our bodies. They want to they want it to plant this thought of nothing nothing around us is good everything's falling apart which they are the they're the ones that's actually doing it but it will it will pave the way for the antichrist you have to understand something the enemy wants to counterfeit exactly what Jesus did he also wants you and I to be in his image. We were created in the image of God, but he wants us to be in his image. And he's going to do it through the blood. He's going to do it, try to do it through our blood, through our DNA. 
I'll talk more about this later. But in conclusion, it's not that the enemy wants you to think that the world's all good and they're hiding behind the shadows. They create the chaos. They want you and I to believe that this world is completely undone and falling apart. So when the Antichrist, the son of perdition, comes on the scene, he can indeed come in proclaiming peace and safety and will cause the whole world to worship him. Not you and I, not the elect, not the true followers of Christ. And I didn't say Christian <laughs> or church people. The true followers of Christ Jesus who worship the Father in spirit and in truth. I love you guys, man. I'll talk to you next time.